Hi everyone, today I'm going to be picking and gutting a Japanese lock uh, made by Goal. This is, uh, I believe the model is a Goal P, um, but it's not got any specific markings on it. It looks very similar to many other Goal locks. Um, I believe the way you can tell the difference is you have to have it gutted uh, so you can see kind of the security features. Um, the back of the cylinder is stamped A1, but again, I, I don't think that makes any um, specific difference. So this particular lock um, is just a simple pin tumbler, no sidebars or anything weird on it, um, but does have a number of interesting security features. So I'm going to start with the plug. So um, if I get up close here, you can see there is, oops, focus, there is milling in the chambers. Um, it looks, I initially thought it was just over milled, um, coming down from the top, but coming up, it does feel like there's some kind of lip there. My pick does get stuck in this, uh, and that would all make sense because of the pins, which we'll see in a second. Um, there's a hole right here, and on the other side, there's another hole. Uh, there's some ball bearings on springs that fit right in there. Um, and they are anti, oh, sorry, that fit right in there. And they are anti-drill features, but they also, um, uh, they fit into, I guess there's like two notches right here. You can see one right there. They fit right in there. Um, they can be forced out when you turn the key. It's no big deal, but they do provide a little bit of counter rotation when you're picking the lock. So, um, it makes it, I think, a little easier. Uh, I'll show the pins. I'll show them all up close here first. So there they are. Uh, you can see the key pins are like torpedoes, kind of. Um, the tops are a mix of uh, gins and some kind of mushroom type pins there. And they do get stuck in this milling. I was messing with this a second ago. focus. They do get stuck in here. You can see right there. And they will, if I pull too hard, it'll see it'll pull right out of my tweezers. So um, definitely some matched milling to go with the pins. And then uh, the key pins, I think we'll get, this is number four, they will get stuck in that milling, if you overlift them, let's see right here. So I think if you're lifting and then you were, you know, providing pressure on it to the side, right? Cause you're, um, you're uh, doing tension. It does get stuck. So you can overlift this. And I think at that point it would prevent the plug from turning. So um, some kind of match security features there. Uh, other than that, not too bad. Um, didn't take me too long to pick. Didn't take me too long to figure out how to pick either, um, which is pretty, pretty rare, <laughs> I think. Uh, but yeah, definitely got some security features. I could see if you weren't used to picking locks, this would definitely throw you for a loop. Um, wasn't as bad as in, like an ASA 700, but, um, similar types of features. So, um, with that, we'll get up to the part where I have it in the vise and I pick it. Okay. Here's my goal P in the vise. The bidding is pretty flat on this one. So I'm just going to see if I can get all the pins up into their milling. Should need to do a couple little taps here. I'm jiggle testing these to look for the binders.
and trying to set them without dropping anything else. Must just have oh, there's one. I was gonna say I must just have one or two pins left stuck in the milling here. I just need to figure out which ones they are. Doesn't feel like one. Doesn't feel like two. Doesn't feel like three. Maybe it's five. It was six. Okay, not too bad. Um, this particular lock here. I have never gutted this one. Uh, I picked it not blind because I had the key, but I didn't progressive pin it or anything. So um, I've never gutted it before. So let's see what happens here. I'm going to relock it first. It is open. Okay, the other goal lock I had, the screws were in really tight, so I'm guessing this is going to be the same here, so let's see if I can get these undone. Yeah, give me a little bit more leverage here. I originally thought these had like Loctite in them or something. Um, they're in so tight, but I think they're just over torqued massively. Let me get a pitting tray. It's better on the lighting. Okay, one screw. Okay, and the cam. Um, there is a ball bearing right here. That I think is drill protection or a key stop or something weird. Um, where is my follower? That's what I want. Okay. I'm going to shim this because my goal Z is currently bricked because I did not shim it. So let's just be extra careful with this one. I'm going to turn the key. Oh, 
There they go. I forgot about those. <laughs> Drill protection ball bearings. Um, there's one. They go on the sides here. There's two little springs. Okay, so I launched one of them. I felt it hit me. So it's probably underneath me right now. Um, those go in these sections right here on the plugs. So let's get the pins here. Come on, pins, help me out. Let's do three. Okay, look at this. There is two. Six and five. And so there's that. Pull my shim out. The drivers. Hopefully you can see the orientation for each of these as it pops up. There's number six. everything out of there. I've dumped the springs. Okay. Um, I don't think there's anything special in there. Does not look like it. is milling whoops right here so these are not counter milled but over over milled i think is the correct term so they've basically been drilled out um although my pick does catch in them so might be like a lip in there it's interesting and then let's see the pins up close here. So key pins are all kind of torpedo shaped. Um, and then the drivers you can see are either like a mushroom or like uh, a gin bottle. So let's take a closer look at some of these. it up. 
So here's like a mushroom shaped driver. Right there, it's definitely got a little lip on the bottom. Let's get one of these gin looking ones here. And let me see about, this is number two. Oh yeah, definitely, it doesn't bind super hard, but it definitely catches. So that's pretty solid. Um, let's take a look at one of these key pins. So, torpedo shaped. Uh, I have to imagine that if you lift this too high, it would get caught in the milling. What is this number three here? So I'm just gonna fake pick this. If you're tensioning that, yeah, that could definitely get stuck there. And then this top is wide enough that it doesn't fall all the way back down. So, yeah. Um, definitely some pretty solid security features in this for just being kind of a basic pen tumbler lock. Um, kind of like a, you know, an ASA 700 light, something along those lines. Um, so there you go. That is a goal P. Uh, there's no markings on the actual lock to show that it's a goal P. I think it's the combination of the drivers, the um, the key pins, and the plug that make it, you know, a, a goal P. Um, so there you go. Um, pretty pretty solid lock. Uh, not too terrible to pick, but maybe just because I'm used to, you know, I've done an ASA 700, um, which you have to float pick, and it's very similar in terms of gins. So that may be why it wasn't so terrible. All right, there you go. Uh, thanks for watching.